I'm Christine Hamlin, the Monmouth County Clerk, and I want to welcome you to our behind the scenes tour of the Monmouth County Archives, a division of the Monmouth County Clerk's Office. The mission of the archives is to preserve and protect historical records of Monmouth County government. This virtual tour will give insight into the vast collections that we have here in the archives, as well as a sneak peek into what we do to preserve these precious records. The archives was founded by then County Clerk Jane Clayton in the late 1980s and officially opened to the public in August of 1994. Jane Clayton was committed to finding a permanent and safe home for our county's historic records, as they were previously stored in the Hall of Records basement, which was prone to floods, leaks, and mold. The county freeholders at the time recommended space in the lower level of the county library headquarters, which was opening in the 1980s, and that is where we are still located today. The archives has 25,000 box spaces available. We currently have over 16,000 boxes and 13,000 books. We have all kinds of documentary records from paper to pictures to digital and other media types. How did we get these records? Many are records of the county clerk, some are the courts and county government, and others are special collections that have been donated to us for preservation purposes. We will show you samples of our records from our most interesting collections so you can see for yourself the amazing items that we have and why it is important to preserve them. The archives makes these government records accessible to the public through finding aids, computerized indexing of records, and individualized reference services. We also work to promote our local history through publications, exhibits, and our annual Archives and History Day event. To begin the tour, we are in our public access research room named after former county clerk, Jane Clayton. Many historians, authors, and researchers utilize this room to conduct their historical research. Anyone can visit our research room to request information, work with our on-staff research assistant, request microfilm, and review it on one of our public access microfilm readers. Appointments are strongly recommended. This is the main area that the public has access to. Many of our records are also available online at monmouthcountyclerk.com slash archives. Next, we will go into our Access Restricted Records Center. What is fascinating about this area is that we have millions of records, some of which date back over 350 years. All of these records are organized, cataloged, and shelved in such a way that they are protected from the light, dust, and human contact. They are also in a temperature-controlled facility that is cool, dark, and dry, so they are preserved for generations to come. We will start in the stacks, where we have rows and rows of records that are stored on mobile and static shelving. Here we have county government records that include freeholder meeting minutes and resolutions that date back to 1788. The county freeholders are now called commissioners. These beautiful records include their minutes that date back to the late 1700s, and we still continue to preserve the freeholder, now commissioner records to this day. Here in aisle one, we have tavern records, atlases that date back to the late 1800s, and our building contracts collection, which includes one of the highlights of our collection, which is a beautiful record of a home that was being built that dates back to 1927, and this relates to the Blagden property in Middletown, New Jersey. We have a special collection of plans like these that are included in our building contracts collection. We also have slave birth records of Monmouth County, records of illegitimate children dating back to 1734, records of overseers of the poor 
dating back to 1754. This is a county clerk record containing slave births. At the time, back in the 1800s, the county clerk was required to keep a record of every slave born in the county. These particular records date back to 1810. We also have a very large collection of marriage records dating back to the 1800s and coroner records dating back to the 1800s. This aisle in the archives also includes a large collection of road returns dating back to 1745 and these documents contain information about roads when they were either laid out, vacated, or changed in some way. In 2005, the county freeholders at the time invested in movable shelving so that the archives could gain about 8,000 box spaces. In this aisle, we have many records from our court system. We have Oyer and Terminer courts, the courts of common pleas, court quarter sessions, and many records relating to the judicial system because up until 1991, the county clerk was also the clerk of the courts and therefore maintained all of these historic county records. And here in L3, we also have many of our original deed books, our property records, and one of our most special collections that we have, which is our collection of naturalization records. Our naturalization records are very interesting county records. They recorded when the county courts had jurisdiction over the citizenship process for immigrants. That is no longer the case, but these records are so fascinating because they provide a glimpse into the immigrants arriving here in Monmouth County, and they sometimes contain a picture. In May 1991, all responsibilities relating to immigration and the granting of citizenship were removed from the county level and are now under the sole jurisdiction of the Immigration and Naturalization Service. This is our collection of subdivision maps from around Monmouth County. And because the county clerk is the official record keeper for property records throughout the county, subdivision maps were required and still are to this day to be filed with the county clerk. And we have a very large collection of these subdivision maps that date back to 1765. And here we have a very beautiful subdivision map record from Belmar. At the time, it was called Ocean Beach. And this map was from 1883. These records are very interesting because they came in on all different types of materials linen, vellum, parchment, and they also have received preservation treatment right here within our archives division. And all of these records can be found online through our open public records search system, which you can find at monmouthcountyclerk.com. We have two volumes from 1930 of the Sanborn Fire Insurance Atlases. These atlases depicted the location, materials, and size of particular properties within the county so that they could be evaluated for fire insurance. And these records are often used for house research on historic homes. Our election record collection begins in 1770, and we have a large collection of records because the county clerk was the clerk of election and still is to this day. This particular document relates to an election that was held on November 4th, 1919 for the election of governor. And you can see some of the handwritten tally. And there's also a statement of the Board of Canvassers relating to members of the General Assembly, member of the State Senate, the County Clerk, and the Board of Chosen Freeholders. Our most precious and delicate items are here in the vault within the Monmouth County Archives. And this vault was created because we wanted to have a special area to protect our most valuable documents. 
This area has a special fire suppression system, special climate control, and is a very secure location. And we have some of our records that are microfilmed in here. And these are microfilm of our property records that date back to uh, the first property record that was filed in Monmouth County. Our Civil War records are here in the vault, as well as some of our very special Revolutionary War collection. We also have more of our slave birth records here. And of course, our original uh, records of the first property records that were filed here in Monmouth County. One of the earliest property records we have dates back to 1665. This particular document is a confiscation record of land from a Tory, and his name was Nathaniel Parker. And this was the order for the confiscation of land. And this type and handwritten document is a record of the sale of Nathaniel Parker's land. This record is a recording of a slave manumission whereby a slave owner in Monmouth County freed a slave and it was recorded on this particular document. And this is one of our most precious early records that we protect. This is one of the records housed in our vault and it's a record of a court session that was held in Middletown on the 22nd day of September, 1685 before Justices John Hance, John Throckmorton and Peter Tilton. In this area, we have some of our special collections that we house in the vault. And one of those collections is our negatives from the Red Bank Register newspaper that was in publication for about 100 years and is now defunct. And these negatives were donated to us. And we're working to preserve these negatives. It's hundreds of thousands of images that we are working to preserve that contain Monmouth County history. And we also have VHS tapes of TV News 34 that was active in the 1980s and 1990s, and we are currently working to convert these to MP4. Thank you for joining us on our behind the scenes tour of the Monmouth County Archives, which is located in the lower level of the County Library Headquarters in Manalapan. You can find more information about the Monmouth County Archives at monmouthcountyclerk.com archives.